Good evening. Low lower this. Lower this. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. How was your day? Well, a little bit tired. Uh -huh. about, about work. Okay. And tomorrow will be uh, tired. Tired. Why? Why do you think it's going to be tired tomorrow? Sorry. Why do you say tomorrow is going to be tired? Ah, uh, because I will have to go to the airport. Okay. I will have to, to stay there. How frequent do you go to the airport? No, it's first time. It's for it's for a project. Okay, good. So, are you gonna be exactly in the airport? At the at the new project, the new uh, terminal. Oh, we good. are constructing. Good. You are an engineer. Architect. An architect. An architect. Good. Nice. Good. Mr. Noches, how are you? I guess he can hear me. Okay, so welcome back. Gilberto, how are you today? Teacher. Did you have a good day? Yes, I have a good day today. Nice. What about you, Federico? Oh, okay. Hi. Hi, everybody. Good. Adrian? Did you have a good Hello. day, Adrian? Uh, well, I'm still driving. Really? Okay. Well, yeah. I'm still okay. driving. I okay, so, so don't worry. Don't worry. We're not going to interrupt you. Just pay attention to us. Okay, thank you. We, don't want, have, we don't want to be distractors. Okay, so... Um, okay, is it raining where you guys are? Is it raining? No. No? No. What about earlier? Uh, yes, maybe one hour ago. Right. Yeah, it was raining here in San Salvador, and it was raining um, hard. It was raining hard. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. All right. Um, let's talk about yesterday. Let's have a quick review. Uh, what were the topics we discussed yesterday? Past tense and present perfect. Yes, past tense and the present perfect. Um, those are tenses. How many tenses do we have in English? Twelve. Twelve. Yes. And every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. So if we compare simple past and present perfect, what are the main differences? The past uh, simple uh, finish the action. Very good. And present perfect? It's Anybody? Not it's not specific. Present perfect it's start at the past specific. and maybe continue on the present. Okay, good. Marcelo was saying it's not specific and Gilberto was saying starts in the past and you're still doing it, right? Okay, now, if I want to be very specific, 
and I want to mention when I did an action, which one do I have to use? Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Right. So if I want to share information without dates, then I can use the present perfect. But if I want to go beyond and I want to be very specific and give you extra information, then I would have to use the simple past tense. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we're pronouncing ED, um, what are the three different sounds that we have? The T, it, the, the, L. Okay, good. So we have t, like in Pretty. fixed, helped. We also have D, like played, cleaned. And then you have the one that we create the extra syllable needed, wanted, cooperated, right? Completed. 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 Yes. I prefer British. <laughs> Good. You know, like, <laughs> yes, everybody's different. I know several people that they say, look, I feel more comfortable when I'm exposing myself to British pronunciation. So if that's your case, that's fine. Yeah. Yep. All right. So today we have three different activities. Uh, the first one is related with pronunciation. Let me show you a document. Do you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. Does anybody know the meaning of cognates? Cognate. Yes. Hmm. Anybody? Cognates. Let me no. give you an example. And after I give you the example, you will clearly understand the meaning of the word cognates. Okay. If you analyze all the words that you have there, they are very, very similar to what we have in Spanish. In some cases, they're exactly the same, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what is a cognate? A cognate is one word that exists in two different languages. Okay. If you compare English and Spanish, usually cognates have the same meaning. The same meaning, but pronunciation is different. How do you pronounce number one? Catholic. 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 Okay, look. Color red indicates where the stress is. Catholic. So do you say Catholic, Catholic or do you say Catholic? Catholic. Catholic. Catholic? Catholic. Yes, you say Catholic. You say Catholic. So once Catholic. again, now... In, in general terms, um, cognates are good when we compare English and Spanish because we have a lot. We have very, very, uh, a very big amount of cognates. So how do you pronounce the first one? Catholic. Catholic. Uh -uh. Catholic. Uh -uh. Catholic. 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 Uh-huh. Catholic. 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 Now. Catholic. Catholic and Catolico, they have the same definition in both languages. So, so that is a true cognate. Now, what is a true cognate? A true cognate is one word that we have in two different languages, and the meaning is the same in both languages. Is okay. that clear? Clear. Okay. Clear. Now, what is a false cognate? A false cognate mm. is one word that we have in two different languages, but the meaning is different in each language. 
Uh, let me give you an example. Actually. Uh, okay, actually. What is actually in Spanish? Uh, true, truly. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Realmente. So you use actually when you want to make corrections, when you want to clarify. But it's not actualmente. So actually, it's an example of a false cognate. Why false? We have actually, we have actualmente, but the meaning in each language is completely different from each other. I have, I have two that are uh, exactly the opposite. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, so... Assist, assist and attend. Exactly, exactly. Assist in English means to help. Assistir in Spanish is to be present in a place. Attend. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay, what about number two? Transparent. 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 Okay. Trans Transparent. Transparent. Catholic. Okay. Transparent. Listen, listen. Color red indicates where the stress is. So it's a transparent. 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 Trans transparent. 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 Now, transparent is the same meaning than in Spanish. Now, how can you explain the word transparent? Can you, you can you give me a synonym of transparent? Clear. Clear, visible. Honest, no. Honest, yes. You say my sister is very transparent. Yes, she's very honest, very good. Okay, what about number three? Category. Category. Uh-uh. Category. Uh-uh. Category. 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 Exactly. Category. Category. Nah. -uh. Category. 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 What is a synonym of category? Kind. Yes. Type. Kind, type, division, if you want to call it like that. Classify. Uh, yes, right, right. Um, what about number four? How do you pronounce number four? Alter. 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 What's the meaning of alter? It's a place. It's a place. Where? Uh, in church. In the church. Good. To give, to it's give a place in church. So. Okay. So can you say that the altar is the most important place in a church? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah to be. Okay, good. What about number five? How do you pronounce number five? Inevitable. 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 Yes. Inevitable. Inevitable. Okay. What about number six? Automobile. 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 Ah, listen, listen. Remember, color red indicates where the stress is. So automobile. 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 What is a synonym automobile. of automobile? Car. Mm, vehicle. A car, a vehicle. Okay. Right. Vehicle. Right. Automobile. Automobile. What about number seven? Vulnerable. Vulnerable. Yes. Vulnerable. 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 What's the meaning of vulnerable? It's a situation. What is um, it? 
It's a situation. What kind of situation? Uh, a possibility. Um, a high risk. Yes. Yeah, very good. Well, yeah, yeah, high risk. Very good. That's a good concept. Yeah, vulnerable is when you are at a high risk. Mm -hmm. What about number eight? Interesting. 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 Very good. What about number nine? Comfortable. Comfortable. Uh-uh. Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, number one. Listen, number one, letter, the second O is quiet. You don't pronounce the second O. And color red indicates where the stress is. So you say comfortable. Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. 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 Radar. 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 Radar.
Automobile. 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 Okay. Volunteer. I try to Try. Please. Mm. Go ahead, Catholic. Freddy. Catholic. Uh huh. Good. Category. Mm hmm. Inevitable. Yes. Automobile. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Automobile. Vulnerable. Interesting. Comfortable and greater. Perfect, Radar. perfect. Radar. You only missed one. Very good, Freddy. Good job. Another volunteer. Me. Okay, you. Ladies first. Yeah. Okay, ladies first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Lourdes, we're waiting for you. Okay, me. Catholic, the sign, category, uh -huh. altar, inevitable, uh -huh. automobile, yes, vulnerable, interesting, comfortable, and greater. Perfect. Excellent. Another volunteer. Cut. Catholic. Go ahead, go ahead. Catholic. Go ahead. Uh, transparent. Uh huh. Cat category. Transparent. Okay. Category. Category. Go ahead. Category. Yeah. Category. 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 Yes. Category. Alter. Alter. Category. Uh-huh. Inevitable. Inevitable, yes. Automobile. 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 Vulnerable. Vulnerable. Interesting. Interesting, yes. Go ahead. Comfortable. 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 Uh-huh. Radar. 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 Very good, Gilberto. Very good. Very good. One more. One more volunteer. Okay, me. Okay, uh, Rick, go ahead. Catholic. Uh-huh. Uh, transparent. Yes. Category. Yes. Altar. Uh-huh. Inevitable. Yes. Automobile. 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 Inevitable. Interesting. Comfortable. And radar. Very good. Very good. Nice. All right. Good. Good. Good job. So look, um, you have to be extra careful with these words because these words exist in Spanish. Now, the thing is, um, many times your mother language will interfere. And in Spanish you say, Catolico. So maybe you say, Catholic, Catholic. or it's not Catholic. Catholic. You know, it's Catholic. 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 Like in Spanish you say, Catholic. Transparente. 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 So you can say, oh, transparent. transparent. No, it's not transparent. It's transparent. 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 In Spanish, Spanish, you say categoría. You say category. No, it's not category. It's category. 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 Number category. four, you say alter. Number five, you say inevitable. 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 Number six, you say automobile. 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 Number seven is vulnerable. Vulnerable. Number eight is interesting. interesting. Number nine is comfortable. 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 And number 10 is radar. 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 Yes, radar. Very good. All right. Radar. Any questions about pronunciation? No. We all good? Yep. All right. Now, yesterday, um, we were talking about the present perfect and the simple past. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. Okay. Do you see the document? Present. Okay. What is the contraction of I have? 
I've. 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 What's the contraction I've. of she has? She's. 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 What about if I want to say he has? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. We have. We've. We've. All right. Very good. Now remember, when we use the present perfect, we use auxiliary have or has. They have exactly the same function. The only difference is the personal pronoun that you use. Are we okay there? I. Are we okay with the first bullet? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, I've. second bullet. I need a volunteer to read the four parts of the of the second bullet. Please, teacher. Okay, please. Girl is always the same. I have seen you before. I haven't seen you before. Have I seen you before? Thank you, Julia. As you can see, the first one here is positive. Negative. The second one here is negative and the last one is a question form and as you can see it doesn't matter which form you're using the main verb is always the same yeah. it's mm -hmm. always the same it will never change what is the form of the verb now if i say go what is the past participle of go? Gone. Gone. What is the past participle of read? Read. 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 The past participle of write? Written. 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 Ah, reading. Okay. Reading. Now, gringos, they usually say written. Written. Ah. Written. written. But. Written. You can perfectly say written. It's okay. It's fine. So once again, second bullet, it doesn't matter if the information is positive, negative, or question. The form of the verb is always past participle. Okay, bullet three. Another volunteer to read, please. Okay. Rick? Uh, recently, lately. Just, ever, never, already, yet, for, since. Okay, good. Now, when we're using the present perfect, you can uh, use this uh, to make everything more complete. Now, remember that when we use the present perfect, we don't mention when. Now, when I say recently and I say lately, I'm not being specific about anything. I'm just giving you an idea. So you can use this when you use the present verb. So you can say, I have seen your brother lately at the park. Now lately can be, the person can refer to the past by me. What's the function of just? Exactly. You use it to express an action that recently happened. When do we use ever? Only on question. Very good. Only when you make questions. Have you ever... Have you ever eaten Japanese food? Sushi. Have you? Yes, what is, what I is, have. What is the past participle of fly? Float. Float. Fly, fly, fly. Like when you fly oh, an airplane. Fly. Fly. Flown. 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 Flown is correct. So, have you ever flown in a helicopter? No, I have no. never. Okay. No, I haven't. Okay. No, I haven't. Have you ever flown in an airplane? Sure. Yes, yes I, have. I, have. I, have. Okay. Oh, I have. Have you ever flown in an air balloon? No, no I, I haven't. haven't. That must be really cool. Mm. Yeah. Pure adrenaline. 
Mm. Okay. Now, never, the word never is literal. It means no time whatsoever. Now, can somebody explain the differences between already and yet? Yet, we use like in the end of the sentence. And already, we can use in the start, in the middle, in the end in the of the sentence. Okay, very good, Julia. So, yet is at the end of a negative sentence or a question. Already can be used in the middle at the end of a positive sentence or a <clears throat> Oh my goodness, somebody's watching Where television. How do you say novella in English? Soap opera. Soap opera. Soap opera. Soap opera. Yeah, soap opera. Okay. So, and I need one more person to explain the differences between for and since. Anybody? Somebody, anybody? Uh, well, I, I we're gonna try. Four okay. is when, four is when someone do the do something. Since it's the day this was was elaborate something, for example. Okay, someone else. In this case, I think that four is to express the number of year days months uh you have been doing the same thing okay day after day or in a period of time but since it's, it's when you have started to do that okay and that means that that you continue just like doing it or doesn't doesn't mean that you're still doing it on the present okay. all right good someone else wants to give uh, your opinion for uh, represents um, a specific period uh -huh. or, dur or duration of of time. Okay. It seems is used to denote a particular moment. Okay. In time. Okay. Thank you, Rodrigo. Anybody else wants to give your opinion? Okay. So we use for to express a specific amount of time a specific period of time. So for five minutes, for 10 years, for three weeks, for six months. We use things to indicate when the action began. Okay. All right. And last but not least, when we use the present perfect, we can use it under two concepts. Look at the first one. I've been in class for 32 minutes. So that means that the action is not finished, right? Mm -hmm. What time, what time did you connect? I connect. Five to eight. Eight to eight. Okay, so imagine that you connected at eight o'clock. You were very punctual. What time is it now? Eight thirty-two. Eight thirty-two. So you said I've been in class for thirty-two minutes. So if I say thirty-two minutes, I go back in time and I go back to eight p.m. 8 p.m. is history, but you're still in class, right? Mm -hmm. Now look at the second one. I've been in Mexico before. Are you in Mexico in this moment? No. No, you're in El Salvador. Now let me ask you this. Is there a possibility that you go back to Mexico in the future? 
Of course. Mm, yes. Maybe. Uh -huh. So listen to this. Perhaps. With, with the first example, the action starts in the past and you're still doing it. It's not finished. With the second one, it's something that you did in the past. You're not doing it right now, but you can do it in the future. So as you can see in the two examples, the action is not finished. Are we okay with that? Is that clear? Yes. Class? Yes. yes. The second one. Uh huh. Uh, I don't understand. The second one. Okay, very good. Uh, with the second one, we said, I have been in Mexico before. Mm -hmm. That is present perfect. Now, when I say, I have been in Mexico before, right now I'm in El Salvador, but maybe in December I go back to Mexico. Okay. And because of that reason that I have the possibility of going back to Mexico, I say that the action is yes. not finished. Okay. Even, even if I'm not doing the action at the time that I speak. Okay, I'm just here. Very good. Someone else, does anybody else have any other questions related with the, with this document? What about, what about if I say, I have been in class 15, 30 minutes ago? It's not good. You can say, I have been in class since eight o'clock. Ah. Because since indicates when the action began. Began. So if you use for, you cannot use since and vice versa. You have to choose one of the two. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Any other questions? Teacher, I saw that in uh, some companies said since 1980. Exactly. Two, for example. Okay. So when you see a company that says since 1980, that indicates that they began operations in 1980. Got it? Got it, I got it. Got it. Okay. Any other questions, class? Feel free to ask. I don't, I don't understand why we can't use I connect 30 minutes ago. Okay, well, one more time. Uh -huh, because I, I don't know, for me it makes sense when you say... Which one? Which one over this? Uh, when I say I connected uh, 30 minutes ago. Uh -huh. Me conecté hace 30 minutes. Right, but that is simple past. But you can use it. Sure, sure. Ah, Definitely. Okay. Sure, sure. Now remember, uh, the idea of studying the 12 different tenses is that you use them naturally in a real conversation. So when you're having a real conversation, you make a combination of all 12. Without thinking, you do it spontaneously. So that's the idea. So you can perfectly say, I connected 30 minutes ago. And it's fine, it's perfect. Okay. Or I've been connected. All right, being connected, exactly, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any other questions or comments? Now, before we go to today's uh, main topic, keep something in mind. Present perfect, you can use it under two concepts. Something that you started in the past and you're still doing, or something that you did before you're not doing it right now, but you can do it again in the future. Are we okay there? Okay. Okay. I'm okay. 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 All right, good. Now, today's topic, yesterday we were discussing the differences between the simple past and present perfect. Now, we will discuss the differences between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. Are we ready for the first discussion? Okay. Okay, we are ready. Okay, so let's go. The class a moment. What is it? 
I need to leave the class a moment. It's okay. Don't worry. We'll be here. Don't worry. So we will have five groups. Here we go. Discuss the differences between present perfect and present perfect continuous. Go ahead. All right, so start, right, the discussion. So start the discussion. Present perfect versus present perfect. Perfect continuous. Uh huh. What are the differences? Hey. I, I remember that. But go, go, go ahead. Lower this. Oh, okay. Is uh, the structure? I think is like the present perfect, but the the the, the, the um, you have to add a a bear, uh, ing. Oh. You're wrong. Yeah, Jaron. Yes. It's it, all. Oh, oh, it's always have or has plus been plus ing. Okay. So I think that is the, uh, an activity that you are or, or, or an action that you are doing at this time. It's something that you never, you don't finish right now. No, don't, don't, don't finish yet. Which one? Mm, present perfect, perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous, yeah. Okay. And what about the present perfect? Because when you are uh, finished the action, you will not gonna do it again or or not needed to to doing again something about the the thing or the action okay or teach, could be teacher that maybe well in present present perfect you mention when you start uh, the action but it's not necessary that you are doing in that exactly moment right right and the present perfect continues you want to um mention that exactly in that moment you are doing that is the main difference between them two with the present perfect there is the possibility that you're not doing the action at the time you're speaking now with the present perfect continuous you are doing the action and there is no question about that now obviously the structure is different uh, the message is different, but in some cases you could use both. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. But you only use have been. You have you use uh, have been perfect uh, present perfect without but, the general form at the but, end. Okay. But. But uh, the verb uh, it is 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 in past participle. Past participle. Ah, oh, okay. This is the this is the the difference. The difference. Okay. You can use uh, l ing in the verb. Uh, in questions, in neg negative, in 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 missing visitors by painting painting for her support. My has been my estado asombrada. For example, if I said I'm going to 
take English classes is a, a present perfect continuum. Isn't it how, uh, what do you I'm think going? about? Yeah. I'm, I'm going, going? No. I'm what? going, why not? Ah, present perfect continuous. continuous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, how about Marcelo? What do you think about that sentence? Mm, yes. Yes. Maybe because you are used the ing verb for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because the rule said that is unfinished situation for unfinished situation. Okay. All right, let's return to the main session. Okay. All right, can someone explain the differences between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous? Anybody? You can Anybody? use the question. Yes, Rodrigo. Uh, you can use perfect, uh, present perfect continuous, continuous um, when, when, when you start, when the action start in past, and this con, this uh, continues in in present. Okay. And what about the other one? Um, and the form uh, with with present perfect continuous, you, you do you use uh, or you you can use uh, ing form and present perfect you use has been and the um, uh, el participle okay el past participle all right or of the verb Okay, anybody else wants to help them? Well, I'm agreed with Rodrigo, but uh -huh. you have to have a specific time or, or a yeah. amount of time. Okay. I would like to mention the structure. Yes, tell us. Tell us the structure. But in, in present perfect, you have subject, subject plus have plus plus verbs in past participle plus complement. Okay. And continuing present perfect continuous. You have subject plus have plus been the the form of verb being in past participle participle plus uh, whatever verbs in ing form ing form okay all right good good yes very good that's exactly uh, the two examples that I wrote in the chat what is the first example I have cooked Chinese food before ten Okay, so I have cooked before. Chinese food before, before, but right now I'm not cooking, I'm in class, right? But maybe when I finish the class, I go to the kitchen and, I, and I cook something. Mm. So, what about the second one? I've been cooking Chinese food mm. since 10 a.m. What does that tell you? Continue. The activity is, is unfinished. It's unfinished. Finished. Right. So let's say uh, one of your friends is absent and he or she sends me a, a, a message and says, Francisco, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to be in class because I've been cooking Chinese food since 10 a.m. That means that this person is cooking, cooking. right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. So the main difference is this. When you use the present perfect, maybe you're doing the action at the time you speak, maybe you're not. We don't know. With the present perfect continuous, 
you are doing the action for sure. Mm. So that is the main difference. Okay. And in some cases, uh, you can use the two forms and the message will be exactly the same. Okay. Are we okay there? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let me show you a document. I think I sent it to you. Sure. It's right here. All right. You see the document? Yes. Yes. All right. So um, you have to decide whether the information, the missing information, is present perfect or simple past. So let's go back to the groups. Let's see this here, breakout rooms. And let's go. Hold on. Okay, there you have it. One, two, three. One. Could you please share the image? Sure. You see it? Yes, I see it. Yes, I yeah. see it. Thank you. All right. All right. So, what's the answer? Well, the, the first one, I guess, is present perfect. Have you, have you uh, bought your train ticket yet? Good. What about number two? The kitchen is a complete mess. What have you doing? What have the children doing? What have? What have? The children doing. Done, done. Don't are doing. Are doing. Are doing. What? Are doing. No. I, I think the, the action is complete. No. No, the, 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 the question is that the children are, are doing something. But it's not complete. I, I, I think the kitchen, I, I think is the, the action that the kitchen is a mess is complete. Is is uh, for that I guess the answer uh, the the right answer is present perfect. I don't know. Okay, it could be. But imagine that the children are taking a break and they're coming back to the kitchen in five minutes. Okay. What have the children done? No, no. So how will you how will you make that question using the present perfect continuous? Uh, what have the children? What have, what have been doing? Very good. What have the children been doing? Okay. Um, yeah, I got it. Got it? Yeah. What? Hey, I can't see the exercise. Okay, hold on. Remember, I, I send you that image to the chat, ah, but, I, but I, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you again. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, thank you. I got it. You also have it in your cell phone. Okay. What have she been doing? Now, number three. All right. Julie, Julie has been learning. I've been. Teacher. Yes, sir. In number two, uh -huh. the kitchen is a complete is a complete mess. Uh -huh. What the children have been doing? What have the children? Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. What have the children been been doing? doing? Yes, that is the correct answer. And well, what? in the number, sorry, sorry, sorry. What have the children been do? doing? Doing. Present perfect continuous. What have the children been doing? Because we don't know if the children continues in the kitchen, right? Right. And, and maybe the children, they will come back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And the number one teacher is have been bought or buying the train okay. ticket yet. Okay, so what do you think? Is it present perfect or present perfect continuous? For me, present perfect. It is present perfect. Hey, have you bought your train ticket yet? But but we say uh what well, I say. Is present perfect continuous because you can buy the tickets tomorrow or in a few minutes or now one hour later. For example, you can you can keep going to con to buy the tickets, right? Or not? Uh, not exactly. Um, when you say yet, that indicates that uh, that's one indicator that it could be present perfect. However, it doesn't make much sense if you said, have you been buying your train ticket yet? So it, uh, now if you modify the question, you can say, it, uh, have you been buying your train ticket at the same station? Then you could use that one as a possibility. Okay. So if you would use jet, is more you can apply for present perfect scene. Yes, sir. Present perfect. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. So I think we're gonna come back to the main uh, main session. Okay. okay. Your favorite part of the class? No. <laughs> no, it's a not really. All right. Sure. Okay. Um, it's already 9 p.m., so we have to um, finish the session. We continue tomorrow. As you can see, we were able to do only maybe the first two or three exercises. So, um, you can use that as reference. So when we connect tomorrow again, maybe you already have your own answers. So we move a little bit faster. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So once again, thank you for making the space. Uh, have a good night. Thank you. And I'll see you have tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. You too. Okay. Okay. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.